Hello and welcome to my fully interactive how to create a blog video tutorial. In the next 12 minutes I will show you everything you need to build your very own blog. Let me give you a quick overview of what will follow in the next few minutes. At first we are going to choose the platform that we will use to build our blog. Then we set up our hosting and domain account and install the blog software. Then I will show you how you can easily customize your blog to your liking. First let me tell you something about the platform which we will use to build our blog. It's called WordPress. WordPress is a free and open source content management system that currently operates on over 18 million websites worldwide. Why is WordPress so popular? Because there is almost no technical knowledge needed to run a WordPress based blog. If you can use a browser then you can use WordPress. It's simple, fast, efficient and highly customizable with only a few clicks. Thanks to the thousands of pre-made and mostly free plugins, themes and widgets that allow you to change your entire blog to whatever you like. This also makes WordPress a low cost solution and that's why WordPress is established as the industry standard in blogging. Now let's talk about the domain and hosting. In this video tutorial I will use iPage to set up my hosting and domain account. But first let me explain why we need a domain and a hosting account. Your domain name is the unique identification for your website and the web hosting stores your website information to make it accessible over the internet for all users. As I said before, we are going to use iPage to set up the domain name in the web hosting. I have had very good experiences with iPage in the past and most of my websites now run on this service. When it comes to web hosting, no one should take experiments or unnecessary risks and choose an established hosting provider iPage currently serves over 1 million customers. They provide 24-hour phone chat and email support from North American support agents. Also there is an instant account activation so no waiting time. They offer an anytime money back guarantee so if you are not satisfied with the services you get your money back. So no risk for you if it doesn't work out. Their web hosting is very affordable at roughly $2 per month with a free domain name included. And they offer a one-click WordPress installation which saves a lot of time and hassle. So this is basically all the information you need to start with your blog. Before we start with the video tutorial, a few words for you. This may seem a little complicated but let me tell you it's not. I will show you all the steps needed to set up everything from domain, hosting and WordPress. So you just have to follow the tutorial. You can always pause the video and go a few steps back. Are you ready? Let's start with the video tutorial by clicking the link at the beginning of the description that leads you to iPage. So now we're at iPage and I will guide you through the process of signing up for your web hosting and domain account. Just click on sign up now. At first we have to register a new domain for our website. Uh, for this tutorial I will choose blogfortutorial.com. Just choose a domain name that suits your website with a domain extension you like, like .com, .net or .org. Then click on check availability. If the domain name is not available, you have to choose another one. In this case the domain name is available and now we are on the second page of the sign up process. Uh, here you have to enter your contact information and your payment information. There are two types of payments available, credit card and PayPal. Then you have to choose your hosting plan. There are three different types available for 12 months, 24 months and 36 months. As you can see the 12 months hosting plan costs $3.50 per month. But I will show you a trick to get it for $1.99 per month. Just close your tab. Then you will get an error message that states they have a special offer. Then click stay on this page and get your special offer. And as you can see now you get 12 months of web hosting including a free domain name for $23.88. With anytime money back guarantee, instant account activation, no setup fee, free domain name registration. And if you want you can choose domain privacy, it costs about $10 per year. Domain privacy means that no one can see who the owner of the domain is. So you can choose if you want. For this tutorial I'm not going to do it. Uh, you can set the account use if you're a business or a charity or just an individual. Then there are website essentials like the advanced site protection or the automatic site backup. They enhance your performance but they are not necessary and I will not choose them for this tutorial. So as you can see we are at 2388. 
And if you're from a European country, you have to pay value added tax. If you're from the United States, you don't have to pay it. So you get 12 months of web hosting and a free domain name for $23. That's a very good deal in my experience. And other hosting providers charge you that much for the domain name alone. Then just click on checkout. Now I get redirected to PayPal, where I will log in into my account. And confirm my payment. And that's it. Now we're waiting for the account activation email from iPage. I'm now in my mailbox and I already got the iPage confirmation email. Uh, just click on your iPage order confirmation and login info. This is the right email. And click on the first link. Now we have to set our password for our user account. Choose a password that has at least six characters, at least one lowercase and at least one uppercase letter, at least two numbers and at least one special character. Okay, then you have to set your security question. And yeah, your referral information, just choose something you like. Then you have to agree to the terms of service. So now we're at the control panel and now we'll show you how to install WordPress. Just go to website, WordPress. And now the installation script is loading. This takes a little while. So now just click start for a brand new installation. Select your domain. And here you can choose a subdirectory. You're not going to use this. Now click check domain. Now we get this error message. Don't worry, there's nothing wrong. It's just if you register a new domain, the domain name server records that connects the domain to your new website has to be updated on all the different servers across the globe. This usually takes a few hours. So don't worry and just check back in an hour or two. So now let's check again if the domain is available. Okay, it seems everything is working fine now. Now just click I have read the terms and conditions and click on install now. Now the installation process for WordPress will begin. This may take a few minutes. I will check back when the process is finished. The WordPress installation is now finished. Now go to view processes, view credentials to see your login details for your WordPress blog. All this information is also sent to your email account. So at first you see your blog URL, your admin URL, and your username and your password for your WordPress blog. Now just go to your admin URL and log in with your username and your password. And just click login. So now we're at the WordPress dashboard where you can access all the different functions and features to manage your WordPress blog. You can add posts or pages. You can add media like images. You can manage the comments that users leave on your page. You can browse the marketplace for free or paid plugins and themes. You can change the appearance by changing themes, widgets, menus, the header or the background. You can install plugins to enhance the functionality of your blog. And you can manage all the users that sign up on your blog. Also, you can access the different tools that are available. And you can also access the different settings for writing, reading, discussion, or media. So now I want to show you 
how to create a post in WordPress, just go to Posts, Add New. Uh, here you can enter your title and your content. There are also different formatting options. And you can change the visibility or the publish date of your post. There are also preset formats to use for your posts. You can add categories or tags. Now let's just make a sample post for our new WordPress blog. And let's add an image. Just go to Add Media and Upload Files and Select Files and upload the picture. And just go to Insert into Post. And as you can see now, we have a picture into our first WordPress blog. Now go to Preview. Then there you can preview your WordPress blog. Everything looks fine. The blog, the title, and the picture. Here you can see the comment section. Let's close this tab and publish our post. Just click on Publish. And our post is now published. Now you can go to View Post. And as you can see, we have published our first post on our brand new blog. Everything looks fine. And now let's go back to the dashboard. Now I will show you how to change the design and appearance of your new blog. First go to Appearance and choose Themes. Now you can see the already installed themes on your WordPress blog. Now we're going to add a new theme. Go to WordPress.org Themes. And here you can search by keyword or use filters like colors, columns, layout, features or subject. You can also upload new themes that you find on the internet. If you do a Google search for WordPress themes, you will find a lot of different free themes. Uh, you can also browse the featured themes. These are the themes that already are popular on WordPress and the newest and recently updated themes. So now we're going to search for a theme, for a simple blog theme. And as you can see here, there are many results. A lot of different themes with different layouts, colors and everything. Uh, let's choose a simple one here. Click on Install Now. And it's already activated on our WordPress blog. Now just click on Activate to finish the setup. And our blog has a new theme. As you can see, the entire layout, the font, the colors have changed. So that's basically the end of my tutorial. Uh, I have linked to you a lot of useful WordPress tutorials in the description that will show you all the different features and functions of WordPress. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And thank you for watching my video tutorial on how to create a blog.